Hi Chaz! It's pouring down rain here in San Francisco which is actually a good thing because they're having a big drought uh, so I decided to stay in and make a video for you. I want to make a video today about a weird experience that I had which the experience in itself wasn't that weird. Um, it was just that I reacted a certain way to it and I wasn't quite sure why so I thought I would discuss that with you. I had an encounter with a man the other day and I suppose he'd probably be um, in his late 60s and he was a fellow volunteer and we spent about a couple of hours together um, but not really having a lot of personal contact with one another because we were learning a lot at the time and there was another um, lady there as well and at the end when we said goodbye he reached you know reached out to shake my hand and I reached out to shake his hand and then he turned my hand over and kissed it and he did the same for the other lady that was with us and after he left the room the, the other lady and I just sort of giggled at each other and said a few brief words to each other about the fact that we weren't quite sure of what the etiquette was in that situation. It was a weird situation where both of us felt uncomfortable but we didn't want to say to each other that we felt uncomfortable because we weren't sure I think if that was the right response but it was obviously a response we had in common so I left the whole scenario feeling a bit weird about it and thought about it later on. So I guess the number one thing is that that kind of behavior is a bit outdated and you're not going to see that very often which is probably why I'm not equipped to deal with it in terms of etiquette because I don't see it very often. So you know there is an argument for saying that I felt uncomfortable because it was just a new situation for me but you know I encounter a lot of new situations all the time and I don't necessarily feel that they make me feel uncomfortable. I mean if I saw someone on the bus who was behaving in a way that I don't normally see I probably wouldn't feel uncomfortable about it, I wouldn't really think about it, um, I would just observe and move on. So that probably isn't a satisfactory explanation for me. Then I guess the next part is the fact that the situation went from something that we were mutually doing together to something that he was controlling. Um, which in any situation between two people who are equals in terms of their standing within a setting, uh, we were both brand new volunteers so I would say that we were of equal standing in this circumstance. Um, so you know we both reached out to shake hands and then all of a sudden my arms being turned over and he's kissing my hand which is something that I didn't have control over and something that I guess to use you know blatant terms I didn't consent to it um, but I don't really want to use the word consent because it has all these other complications to it that I don't think apply to this situation. Um, so yeah, I guess it went from a situation that I felt we had control of to a situation where he was clearly the one in control. Um, and I wasn't willing to give him control because I felt that we were equals in the situation and I didn't want a power struggle between the two of us, I suppose. So I guess I felt a little bit robbed of my standing as an equal in that situation because I wasn't able to control the, the farewell um, and I guess there's also a, an element of germaphobe in there. I think we're quite picky these days about who we have contact with, who we touch and who we don't touch, let alone whose mouths touch our skin or any part of our person. And I know that I'm probably not going to contract a disease from his lips touching the back of my hand. Maybe that's an element of modern society that we're a bit too germaphobic. Um, and I don't consider myself germophobic generally, like I'll eat stuff off the floor or whatever. But I know how dirty my floor is, uh, I don't know how dirty his mouth is, and yeah, I don't know. Just something about it is a bit gross. Um, and then there's the intimate nature of kissing, whether it's kissing lips or kissing hands. And I know that, you know, kissing hands back in its heyday was not 
particularly intimate, like many men would do it to many women that they were acquaintances with. It wasn't a show of a lot of affection, generally. Um, but, you know, then it's been romanticised since then and, you know, you see the Casanovas kind of taking a lady's hand and kissing it. Um, I guess it's been popularised in that way as a gentlemanly advance towards a lady. Um, so, yeah, I felt a bit uncomfortable with the fact that he performed this action that we see to be romantic and intimate and as a state statement of intent. Um, especially because he performed it on both me and the other lady, like, right next to each other. So, um, yeah, I don't know, like, if he's a player or whatever. I guess all up, I'm not offended because I know that his intentions were honourable. I know he was just trying to be a charming gentleman and trying to impress us with his good manners. And I know that perhaps the norm for him is not the same as the norm for me and I have to be aware of those cultural differences and I have to be accepting of them. Um, so I'm not offended, I just wanted to examine why I felt uncomfortable in that situation. And I think it comes down to it not being the sort of behaviour that I'm used to experiencing. Um, maybe a little bit of the germaphobe side of me coming out. Um, feeling uncomfortable with acts that can be perceived as intimacy with a stranger and not having control over a situation and having somebody take a form of physical authority over me when I don't think they have any authority over me whatsoever. So yeah, that is that and now we can all sew up that little pouch and move on. <laughs> anyway, um, let me know what you think about the whole situation. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Also just a lighthearted ending for something different. I am totally eating maple bacon potato chips and they are delicious. Are you jealous? <laughs>